And later tonight, rival auctioneer Christie's is hoping to make history when it auctions off a piece by Pablo Picasso. Expectations are very high, with some referring to this auction as a sale to remember. Robert Frank has more on the spring auction season. And selling. Nearly $2 billion worth of art is expected to sell at the spring sales at Sotheby's and Christie's. The combination of rare masterpieces coming up for sale and a growing demand by rich collectors for fine art is expected to keep breaking sales records. The star of the sale is this painting by Pablo Picasso called La Femme d'Alger, which is likely to become the most expensive painting ever sold at auction tonight. The piece was one of a series of 15 paintings by Picasso, and this one called Version O is considered one of the greatest Picasso masterpieces still in private hands. By the 50s, when he was starting to create this suite in 54, 55, around that time, it was as if he was revisiting his youth to a certain extent, and the works again began to become more punchy and angular again. Christie's has put an estimate of $140 million on the painting, meaning it's likely to shatter the current record holder, a Francis Bacon triptych that sold in 2013 for $142.2 million. Now, as an investment, Femme d'Alger has actually done better than the stock market. The famed collector Victor Gans bought the entire series of 15 pieces in 1956 for $212,000. Version O was sold in 1997 for $48.4 million including auction fees. So it's tripled in value, while the S&P 500 has roughly doubled. Another piece that's likely to break a record is this sculpture by Alberto Giacometti called Man Pointing. Giacometti created the piece during a single night of feverish work in 1947. If it sells for its estimate of $130 million, it will be the most expensive sculpture ever auctioned. Whether Man Pointing points to a bubble in the art market or continued rising prices will depend largely on financial markets. I think it would be impossible to do anything but look at these sales and say, we certainly have a very frothy market at the time. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of excess capital out there that's bottlenecked in the hands of a relatively small amount of people, and they're going to have to find some place to put those assets. And more and more of those assets are hanging on investors' walls. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Robert Frank.